we have been recommending being more selective. Uh, so looking at companies that we think are higher quality, looking at companies that are less exposed to some of the regulatory shifts and or have already resolved some of the regulatory, shift, uh, regulatory issues and have sold off in line. And so we're recommending broadly being more selective within, within the tech space and more broadly, uh, thinking from the China, uh, China equities universe, we do like A shares uh, on a relative basis just because they are less exposed to internet. They're also less exposed to foreign flows. It seems as if investors are already taking the amber light and nibbling a little bit for the for-profit education sector, as Emily was showing us. A number of those companies, are, you know, trying to bounce about two to three percent today. Of course, nothing like the falls they've had, but still, there is a bit of nibbling going on. If we take uh, history as our guide here, I understand that Korea did the same for their profit sector, um, education sector, about twenty years ago. What can we learn from that, from an investment perspective? Yeah, that's really the, I think, the only similar example where they had a uh, for-profit education, for-profit tutor, tutoring uh, sector, particularly even one that was that was uh, publicly listed. And there they had cracked down uh, in the 80s, but it didn't really have the intended effect, largely because they didn't really address the underlying causes, which was an exam-based system. Uh, and you just saw parents and families still looking for private tutoring. And so they eventually... Uh, they eventually relax some of the restrictions. It's not clear this is an apples to apples comparison, though, just given what we've seen in terms of the announcement out of out of China and the fact that a lot of these are, are listed overseas and there's now restrictions on accepting on accepting foreign capital and even restrictions on 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 making a profit. So that, that's one particular example to look at. But it does seem like it's probably slightly too early to know the exact implications and the exact impact of this the shift on the sector. But it does appear to be uh, uh, quite quite impactful, um, obviously, over their ability to to grow, uh, turn a profit, and, and what it means to be listed overseas for some of these that are listed overseas.